a few weeks ago, for some reason, the chap building bigger barns came to my mind. And um, I leapt to feeling sorry for the workmen who would not have a job building the barns. Um, so I looked it up and that was in Luke 12. Um, and immediately after that parable is the passage that Mary's read to us. The situation we find ourselves in now is so different to what it was only seven or eight weeks ago. At that time, everyone was going about doing their own things and seeking to fulfill their own purposes. Now for the moment, as we've been hearing all the time, and in the words of the government, we all have one overriding purpose. In the words of the slogan, stay at home, protect the NHS, save lives. With all the change and uncertainty, there is quite naturally so much to be worried about. Will I or someone I care about catch the virus? Will I be able to pay my bills? Will I have a job when this is over? For sub-students, what grade will I be given? Will it be enough to get go to university? Will university even open uh, in September? For others, when I, will I be able to go back to school? When will I be able to play with my friends? When will I be able to go and play football with others? It would be very easy to take this passage, which is headed up in the NIV Bible, do not worry, and just make people feel uh, guilty by saying, Jesus told us not to worry, so stop worrying. But I think that is missing the point entirely. For us as Christians, just as much as for the whole of society, the overturning of our normal priorities and our normal routines gives us the opportunity to consider what our overriding purpose is. It certainly should not be about possessions or status or pleasure. As Luke said, a man's life does not consist in the abundance of his possessions and life is more than food and the body more than clothes. But rather, our overriding purpose should not in fact have changed at all. It remains in the words of verse 31 as seek his kingdom and these things will be given to you as well. What seeking his kingdom will look like for each one of us will be different, but is something active. As we seek to be in the place and doing the things that please God, I'm convinced that our worries will not paralyze or overwhelm us.